Fisto 2077 just resubscribed for 6 months, less than 3. Hello everybody, what's up? What's up? What the fuck's up? What the f Sorry. What the frick is up? My apologies for the language right out the gate. My apologies. <clears throat> delay? Is there a delay? Is my audio fucked? Uh-oh. G underscore U underscore F underscore F just subscribe. Audio. Five second delay? Are you fucking kidding me? Video is ahead? Oh no. Hold on. Okay, one sec. Let me play some music. Wait, how bad is it? Can I talk to myself? Okay, so if it's five seconds ahead. Hello. I'll fix it. I'm just trying to see if I can sync it. Hello. All right, can you hear me? Or is it still bad? It's fixed? Beautiful. You guys, so now the music is fine. We, we hear the music. You hear me? <clears throat> Are we cooking? Are we good? <laughs> okay. Wow. I think people left once I fixed the audio. I think I need to go back. I need to th I think I need to break it again. Change it back. <clears throat> I'm glad I figured it out. I'm glad I figured it out. Ian, what you know about ball? <laughs> I don't know anything. You guys can't bait me into talking about... I'm seeing James Harden mentioned. You guys can't bait me into talking about basketball. Otherwise, nobody will listen. 
<clears throat> People will leave. Talk about Harden? No, I can't. I can't. I will scare everyone off. Okay, a couple things. Thank you, Guff, for the subscribe. Thank you. Fisto2077 with the resubscribe. And Sharon with the resubscribe. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. <clears throat> I muted Lo-Fi Girl to cover up my cough. <laughs> I I Why Elizabeth I was just like, hold on, I got a cough. For nine months. <clears throat> why can't we talk about ball? Why can't why can why can we talk about ball? Why Elizabeth? Why Elizabeth? Thank for the resubscribe. Because people don't want to hear about ball. Lo-Fi Girl is back, by the way. You're yes. She Leonard came back. Sandwich just resubscribed for two months. Ian du La Croix flavor tier list. La Croix. Thank you, Leonard underscore sandwich with the resubscribe. Well, the passion fruit is great. It's one of the better ones. Lo-Fi Girl's back. It looks like there was some sort of day after tomorrow situation outside. Which I'm assuming she had to go take care of. Her cat is back, which I'm very happy about. <coughs> <clears throat> Himalayan salt very just exciting. resubscribed for four months. Himalayan salt, thank you for the resubscribe. So they added something up here. It's pinned. It says Lo-Fi Girl's backstory. I have not clicked on this. It's just some crazy fucking live leak shit. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. This is a whole ass video. Sharon 1911 gifted Primer on Donina subscription. Sharon 1911 gifted a tier one sub to Prima Rondo 9. Thank you, they Sharon, for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Five gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, this is crazy. We got Lo-Fi Girl lore. A lore drop. They claim this is her backstory. This has almost a million views in six days, which is pretty impressive. Okay. This is crazy. This is breaking news. All right. Always studying. She's reading the Communist Manifesto. Okay. The spirit of lo fi. Does her headphones say lo-fi? That's sick. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna write that on mine. I need to get... Do I have tape? Hold on. I'm just gonna... Mm. You won't really see it very well. It's it's a little it's very janky, but you know, I can't compete with her. We'll do a better version later, but it says Lori. <laughs> Normal size marker. In my is my marker big or is my hand small? Big marker or small hand? You decide. You decide. Tiny pee pee hands? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Definitely small hand. Big, big, big. I, okay. Big hand. Big hand. Okay. Don't don't say otherwise. Don't say otherwise. You're kidding. You can't hatch. <clears throat> All right. Give me the backstory. Give me the lore. Drop some lore. 
Yo, 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 yo. Okay. We've got a kitten. This is this is Lo-Fi Cat Baby. This is Lo-Fi Cat Baby Alert. Uh, this is very cute. So what happened was Lo-Fi Girl lived in a cabin. She was just called Girl. At this at this stage, she was just Girl. And then her entire family actually they went. I'm imagining this is what it's building to. They went ice skating on the pond, the frozen pond, and her entire family fell through the ice and froze to death. And she needed to learn how to Sharon conquer her trauma. Gifted Heidi underscore Durant a subscription. Sharon one. Thank you, Sharon, for the gifted sub. Gifted a tier one Heidi sub Durant. Heidi underscore Durant. Kevin's they have sister. Given Shout the fuck out. In the channel. Mom is hi-fi girl. Yep. See. So look. Then she needed to conquer her trauma and her the devastating. You know. Oh. And that's where she found Lo-Fi. Okay. We're learning a lot here. About the backstory. This is very powerful. See, now they could have added... Like when she... The, the, the constellation could have been like the picture of... A, of uh, a radio or something, you know? You feel me? You guys feel me on that? Little foreshadowing here. On the nose, see that's, that's, that's the good shit. Tragedy has to strike soon. Oh, she's crying. Wait, I was right. Her parents fucking died. They fell through the ice. I was right. Frostbite? This is actually her dad. You know, like the end of The Shining? <clears throat> Jack Frost vibes. Yeah. Okay, she's crying. Hmm, the boulangerie. Uh oh. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Synthwave boy went by. Oh, I accidentally hit mute on accident. There it is. But look at this. Look at this. That's Synthwave boy. That's crazy. That's like Nick Fury walking by. This is Nick Fury and Incredible Hulk. Thing is, Synthwave Boy, his headphones also say lo-fi, which is kind of fucking lazy. It should say Synthwave. <laughs> it's hard to fit. He would have to write very small. Obviously, he can't write it with a marker like, like this one. He'd need a very tiny marker. But this is, this is a problem for me. Um... Does it make sense for his lore? Look at the constellation. Remember the one you looked at with your father? There it is, a snowman. The snowman that your father was buried inside of. There it is. Remember the good times. 
That was it. Okay. That was a pretty impressive lore drop, you know. <clears throat> that was a pretty good lore drop. The thing is, it doesn't... It's it's a start, but we need way more lore. I need to see a lore video where she, you know... Um, I want to know where the headphones come from, frankly. I want to, and I want a six, six hour long build up, 50 parts, and it slowly reveals where she gets the headphones. You know what? Actually, also, I think that we need to know where she finds. The playlist. Where does the playlist come from? Lo like the lo fi the lo fi uh, shaman or something? Where does the playlist come from? Sharon linked me something from the shop. Lo fi girl headphones sold out. Wait, they sell those? There is a tab here that says view products. Okay. Now I'm shilling for Lo-Fi Girl. <sighs> Sell out. Ian freaking sold out, man. All he talks about is Lo-Fi Girl shop.com. Fucking sell out. Where's the Black Friday sale? Dude, wait, they actually had the they actually had the headphones? Where are they? I don't see them. Ian's such a fucking sellout, dude. Sharon says go to this Reddit link. I'm looking for what headset is near to Lo-Fi Girl's headset. Nothing good? That's just a generic consumer? Shut up! Ah, fuck. Sorry, I'm not signed in. Otherwise, I'd report this. You leave Lo-Fi Girl alone. Dude. These are crazy. These are so sick. These are so sick, bro. Okay. Well. Low fi girl headphones. Let me check eBay. Nothing. Bro, this sucks. It's freaking ruined my day. This sucks. Oh, God. First, the snowman thing. Hearing what happened to Lo Fi Dad. Terrible. <clears throat> Can we get a dramatic second camera switch? You know what? We could. Will we? I don't know, but we could. Hypothetically, we could. I've done it in the past. Man, this freaking sucks. Uh, can you get her on the stream? I can reach out. I can reach out, but, you know, where did the dad go? See, we don't know. I personally am putting forward the, the theory that he froze to death. Um, and, and turned into a snowman. That's my theory. It's just a theory, though. It's just a freaking theory. 
Sam and I watched the uh, Five Nights at Five Five Nights at Freddy's movie the other night, and Matt Pat makes an appearance, and you know, I cried, frankly. His his role was was. I mean, I. I knew the guy was talented, but I didn't know that he could pull off a role like that. Spoilers? If you guys don't want Five Night at Frederick's spoilers, then put your lo-fi headphones on for a second. Matt Pat, look... I know all the Oscar buzz movies have not happened just yet. They haven't come out. You know, we got a couple award season pushes that are probably making their way to theaters in the next month or two. But <clears throat> Matt Pat might make a case for best supporting actor and i really truly mean that um i actually took a clip of his scene so let me set the stage let me set the stage here uh freddy i don't know his name i'm just gonna say every character i think their name is freddy Freddy is, is, he's in such a emotionally wrought state because his world has been rocked by these revelations regarding his long lost brother. Uh, it's tearing him apart inside. It's so gut wrenching. Really, what happened to Freddy It's just it just is so upsetting to think about. And Freddy, he He's processing this trauma. He's processing this trauma and he can't sleep. He can't eat without thinking about what happened to him. And he goes to a diner. He tries to choke down a meal, but it's so hard because all he can think about is this traumatic experience that he went through. And Matt Pat comes to give him a meal. Matt Pat shows up to give him a meal. And it's so meaningful. It's so meaningful. And you can see it in the look of their face. And Matt Pat gives some very, very important advice. And here it is. I have the clip. You do realize that lunch is the most important meal of the day. That it was breakfast. Some people say that, but you know, it's just a theory. Are you being he said the thing. He said the thing. Ignore my commentary. I was masking my tears. Um, and then he he did leave, and that was his appearance in the film. But let's just hear it one more time because his delivery, listen to the way he delivers it. It is very good. 
You do realize that lunch is the most important meal of the day. Mm. Thought it was breakfast. Mm. Some people say that, but you know, it's just a theory. Are you I cried every time. Me too. It, it was stunning. Stunning. And actually, I suppose I do owe you guys a... Um, <clears throat> I do owe you guys a Letterboxd review. Breaking news. Breaking news, people. Uh, it's time... For Ian's letterboxed review, WW Wasteland on Letterboxed. We've reviewed two films. I've signed out. I've been signed out. We're, we're signed back in. Okay. New on Letterboxd. Let's see. Here it is. The Five Nights at Freddy's review. Here we go, guys. This is very exciting. This is so exciting. I watched this on November 19th. Mogwai 1993, just a date I will sucks. never forget. Mogwai 1993. Thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. One star per night? Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> All right. First, I'll give it the star rating out of five. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a half star. <clears throat> that is going to be a half star from me. Not even Matt Pat could save this film. You know what? Movie. You know what? Not even Matt Pat could save this one. I would rather spend five nights. Uh, on the toilet with Chipotle shits. Then watch this again. That's a long time with Chipotle shits. It, it was. I've done it. Sharon 1911 gifted zero bunny. Thank rabbit you, Sharon, for the gifted sub. Sharon 1911 gifted a tier one sub to zero bunny rabbit. They have given 537 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Sharon. Unigoi just gifted five subs. Unigoi with five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, freaking swaggy, dude. Well, I just resubscribed for 10 months. What up? My homie met you at Complex Con. Sad I couldn't go Saturday. 
DMLA, thank you for the resubscribe as well. Thank you guys. Legends, legends. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes. ComplexCon, everyone was so nice. I, I should talk about that in a second. Um... All right, um, so we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> contain spoilers because map pads in it. Saved. <laughs> just subscribed. Thank you, Mogwai 1993, with the subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you. First time chat. Joe said, "Yo sup, Ian. Yo sup to you, my friend. Yo sup to you." Um. So shout out to Five Nights. At Freddy's, what a what a wild ride that has been. I hated it. I fucking hated that movie. That was I'm not kidding. One of the worst films I've ever seen. First time chat, Joe created. Hello, hello to you, my friend. Why did you hate it? It's not even good, bad. No, it's not even good, bad. I thought it was cute. I'm receiving pushback here from all the MatPat fans in the chat. Was it at least epic? It was not epic. It was not an epic freaking chug jug moment. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I just... It was so, the thing, here's the problem. And Sam sent me a link. Where did she? So, here's the problem. And we even played the game to prepare. Sam bought the game last week. And we've been playing it. The first one. And... <clears throat> Uh, in my, in my, in my, uh, perception of it, playing the first one, I'm, I, I'm sort of just like, okay, so you are a security guard at like a Chuck E. Cheese and these animatronics are haunted and they want to kill you. That's it. Cool. Cool. Spooky. Spooky. I come to find out, Sam sends me this thing. This is not the one she sent me, but she sent me something that was even longer. I'd, I'd have to find it. But look at this. Five Nights at Freddy's, a hopefully helpful guide to understanding the series and lore. And look at... The the Afton family, the missing children, the F Fazbear Entertainment, the animatronics, uh, the Springlock suits, the remnant, non-canon. Okay, we got non-canon. Original has trilogy. Just subscribed for seven months. New trilogy. Been so long since I've caught a live stream. Hope you and everyone in the chat is doing well. Thank you, Sassafras Ass, with the, the resubscribe. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, the new trilogy, the extended universe, then dubious canon. Let's. This is questionable. All the rest is not dubious, though. There is a lot of fucking lore to this game. Oh, wait. I didn't even go... Wait. Original trilogy, basic timeline of events... Uh, okay, and then unanswered questions. I had no idea that the lore for this children's game, yes, was an iceberg of lore. And then the problem with the movie is that I think they were trying to appeal to people who know what this is, which obviously is mostly children, but... Uh, I'm just like, you guys are adding too much stuff. There's too much stuff in here. 
the backstory Hold on, let me just get my Five Nights at Freddy's lore guide out. <laughs> Zjubsny just gifted one subs. Zjubsny, 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 Z dubs, Z dubs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You know what's interesting, though? The Five Nights at Freddy's thing was like a huge. It, sold, it, it, it did gangbusters at, at the theater, I'm pretty sure. Because kids fucking love it. Uh, but the it's very in right now. And I just saw something on Twitter just this morning, actually. Uh... Let's see. Where is it? Striking match is just resubscribed for two months. This one's for my man Gooch Grease. Never forget. Never forget. Thank you, striking matches, for the resubscribe. Thank you, thank you. Uh I'm trying to find it. Apparently Chuck E. Cheese is currently in the process of removing all of their animatronics. Uh, all of their animatronics from all their stores. Which I find odd. It seems like, if anything, maybe they don't want to be linked to like these murderous animatronics, but they should go all in to... To to um to this craze. Okay, Sharon sent me an article. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese removes animatronics from all locations except one. See, they they should they should be doing the opposite because I I was saying to Sam, I think it's crazy to me that there is no. Physical location. So Remax just resubscribed for three months because those are alive. Those, yes, there's humans trapped in that one too. Ferrey, Ferrey Rax. Thank you for the prime resubscribe. Uh, I can't believe that no company has not made a. A like physical version of of one of these things, the Freddy Pizzeria. If you open one of these in Hollywood, this shit would be going sicko mode. Pizza, gangbusters. Kids would be in there listening to f all of these kids will be in there listening to sicko mode and running around to um freaking uh. What's that other song that kids love? Uh, uh, what am I thinking of that with the kids that all go nuts to it? Oh, what, am I, what am I thinking of? <laughs> that that made no sense. Mo Bamba, yes, dude, kids would be. Freaking doing the gritty to Mo Bamba in the Freddy Fazbear. That's it would be going nuts in there. How is there not one of these in Hollywood? It's now Skibbity Toilet. Yeah. Oh, if you if you combined it and put the Skibbity Toilet Man in the toilet, but that actually might be that might be problematic. Actually, you don't want to actually put. The face of a man in the toilet of a of a children's pizzeria that might be problematic actually uh but there there should be one of these and i felt the same way that nickelodeon never opened one of these 
if you if Nickelodeon opened one of these in the early 2000s, this place would have had a line out the fucking door. They could have made so much money. I'm shocked that they never did it. I'm I'm shocked that it never happened. One of those on Santa Monica Pier? Yeah, that would go crazy. Pretty patties? Yeah, you throw a couple of those around. Uh it'd be nuts. Sharon is sending me news here. Uh let's see. Uh, hold on. What is real? I'm seeing. So I'm seeing that there was a Five Nights at Freddy's in Hollywood. No shot. Wait. Is that real? October eighth. Wait. I think it's just a. It's a little temporary thing wasn't open have one at universal studios yeah that kids don't want to go to simpsons land kids want to go to freaking freddy fazbear's pizzeria i don't know i'm just saying or Onego he just gifted five subs. Uni, thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna use that and buy Five Nights at Freddy's too. No, that's actually that's actually my funds to open my own pizzeria because you know what someone could do as well i'm i'm giving out game here i'm giving out some game for all for any entrepreneurial people in chat so there was a spin off what was it the um Like Nicolas Cage made a movie, Willy's Wonderland. That's right. That's like a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, ripoff. It's like a similar thing, you know, the animatronics, the pizzeria come to life, all that. <clears throat> Someone do it doesn't have to necessarily be Freddy Fazbear or whatever, but someone could open a pizzeria with creepy animatronics and play into the spooky vibe of it. And that place would be packed. And you don't have any licensing issues. Kids would still want to go to that. You could make it look vaguely like some of the characters too. Nick Cage doesn't say a single word in that movie. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Uh. <clears throat> Anyways. Where's Lo-Fi Girl? Bring her back. I somehow ended up in Calm Cafe. Chill music to listen to. That's not... I'm not... <laughs> What? Yeah, no thanks. Chicken cheese. Makeover when? Yeah, we'll we'll get to the makeover. I guess the last thing that I was gonna mention is that I went to Complex Con with Sam. And it was very fun. It was a good time. Um met so many cool people there. It was a great, great experience. You get a pick with Sean Evans. I did not. Sam did. I briefly got to talk to Sean Evans. 
Very nice guy. Great teeth. Is that weird that I noticed that? Great dome too, but I think he has stolen bald valor. I think he could grow hair if he wanted to. Stupesney just gifted one subs. Thank you, Z-Dubs, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Sean has a glimmering smile, I will say. I don't know if he's a real bald guy, though. Is he? Maybe he is. Hmm. Maybe he maybe he is authentically bald. I don't know. So Sam was down there because uh, there was a Teddy Fresh booth and she helped set that up. But then uh, I went down there and we got to explore the convention center. A lot of really cool people um, that were so nice. Did you have any favorite booths? I met these guys um, at this booth. For this brand called Dumb Good. Uh, and they were very nice. Very nice. And they had a really cool... Uh, uh, a really cool booth. Let's see. Yeah. It was like a tiny little booth. But... Uh, I get Dumb Good ads all the time on Instagram. They had like an old video store booth, which I thought was was pretty was pretty cool. Um, and let's see, I think they do a lot of like film collab stuff. Big they Green were really Beatles cool. just resubscribed for seven months. I love dumb good. Thank you, Big Green Beatles, for the resubscribe. Whoa, huh? Look, Lucas Mucus reached three stream streak. And it says, is this a new feature? What the hell? I have never seen that before. Wow. That's interesting. I think it is new. That's great. We got to get all of you guys hooked on trying to do that streak the way snapchat like psychologically fucks with people i know i have a friend that is like i hate snapchat i don't like it but i have like a, a thousand day streak going i can't stop using the app it's like a they psychologically fuck you into having to keep that going we need to foster that here sort of a psychological situation where you have to watch all the streams this is good. This is a good feature. Uh, but yeah, that one was cool. Um, I was trying to think if there's any other low key that feature got me on Pokemon Go. That's how it works. That's what they're trying to do. Uh, there were a couple other booths that were cool. At Complex Con, but one thing that wasn't cool, and I gotta, I, I gotta say, <clears throat> one thing that Complex Con had, and they had it in their like, I, I saw it in some of the media too. Um, it's a. Uh, Oh my god, I'm blanking on the name. Let's see. Yes. Here it is. Uh, one thing about it. Here it is. <clears throat> there was like a billing of the fact that um, this complex con was marking the relaunch of an old brand <clears throat> that had that had uh, been abandoned years ago uh, a brand called 
Pastel. Now, I know the lore of this brand, Pastel. It is the first brand created by Kanye. He tried to make this brand back in like 2008. And he wore, I think, like two or three pieces publicly and never officially came out. I don't think it ever officially launched. And then it disappeared. Uh, Now, they relaunched the brand at ComplexCon. They had the big booth. Um, yeah, he has this like Hercules jacket. This is like the signature one. Uh, and then there was like these shirts. Uh, I don't know. It came out in like 2008 or, or something. It was around then. Now... The current brand has been Kanye has given over uh, own ownership of the brand, sort of heading the brand to a friend of his, a guy who was his stylist. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm looking at this article. If it says where. According to Pastel's statement, the brand plans to strike a balance between previous concept and fresh ideas, while in lining with original vision instilled by Ye and frequent collaborator Virgil Abloh. <clears throat> Here's North in the jacket recently. Uh, first debuting at ComplexCon. The new Pastel is under the direction of Christian Azanaro, influencer Bloody Cyrus, and Ian Connor a crew who've all worked with Ye in some capacity over the years. This dude, Ian Connor, is a fucking scumbag. This dude is a absolute fucking scumbag. So, um, like, and that's putting it mildly. Uh, so the fact that this brand, I mean, fucking crazy. Yeah. Prime Rondo says, I heard Ian Connor once sold 33 clothes in one day. Search Ian Connor 33 to learn more. Yeah. Yeah, if you search if you search Ian Connor allegations, uh you would be very shocked at what you see. So um pretty wild to see the, like this fucking brand in this guy's hands. Um pretty insane. This guy has over 33 allegations. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. Uh, so, yeah. I did not stop at that booth. Uh, anyways, that was a little tangent. Uh, the owner of Pink Dolphin said Ian Connor was the worst smelling person he ever met. That's the least of his worries. Crazy. Anyways, 
Should we get to the title? I have... I have given myself a makeover in the title, and I have not explained why it says that. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Sam and I went down this YouTube rabbit hole recently. Sam and I went down this YouTube rabbit hole recently. <clears throat> I don't even know how we... <laughs> Wait. My mom just texted me. She said, I just saw you're streaming. You should share this Halloween slash Thanksgiving picture. <laughs> okay. Let me pull it up. One second here. All right. Is this what the Airbud stream was supposed to be? Or did I miss stream? No, it was meant to be this one. All right. Let's see. Wow. Wow. What a photo. Very gourd. Wow, this photo is very gourd. <laughs> Look at that stance. I want to recreate this with like a, but the popkin, the popkin, the, the pumpkin is all rotting. <laughs> I'm just standing on a giant pumpkin. Dude, I was so pumped. I was so pumped to take this photo. <laughs> My mom used to drag me to these um, photo places all the time. And I always got very excited about doing them. <laughs> I always enjoyed it. They always had little props. Like I'd get on a surfboard and then I'd like... And do like... They always had st stuff, and they they were these little places at the mall. And my mom would always take me to the mall and do these. And I loved them. I always had a good time. Well, thank you for that. Very good. Okay. All right. So, okay. Sam and I went down this rabbit hole recently uh, for this phenomenon. I don't even remember how we stumbled upon this. Um, I think it was like we looked up um, a review of like shampoo or something it was something like that barg thunga just resubscribed for six months barga thungar thank you for the prime resub welcome back six months appreciate you we looked up we we looked this thing up and this came up in the recommended tab and then we clicked on it have you guys ever heard of a phenomenon called looks maxing? <laughs> Have you ever heard of looks maxing? That's incel shit. <laughs> no, uh oh. Yes. No. I've never heard of it. And we, we, no, but sounds awful. Okay, so I'm curious because I just typed it in to pull up one of these videos. The first result is looks maxing music, looks maxing playlist song, simulator Roblox, subliminal, guide black men, meme Reddit women, simulator, song transformation guide for girl. Okay. Uh. I'm really curious what looks maxing music is. What the 
fuck? Can't put a title because I'm mewing a looks maxing playlist? What the fuck is this? Mewing is people that they put this thing in their mouth and they like they like work on their jawline. What the fuck is this playlist though? Why is this the first result too? No, not this. <laughs> You're so skibbity. <laughs> Dude, I'm becoming a fucking alpha chat already. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I unironically love alpha music. Dude, I, I'm feeling... I'm feeling like I need some beef jerky or something. And then I chew it and I work on my jaw muscles. Okay, what are people saying? <laughs> this... What the, I this is another language. Okay, but if you search looks maxing... How to look smack step-by-step -step guide full look smacking guide the only guide you need the fact that I searched this just this just fucked my YouTube history I'm mewing playlist why are there playlists to do this I did look smacking every day for 30 days he just changed the angle and shaved. Also, his eye color and eye shape had changed completely. <laughs> okay. Where's the main one? There was one... There was one that Sam and I saw. Wait. Okay. It was this guy. <laughs> This guy went from Mizkif to a Bogdanov twin. <laughs> Do you know? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> that is right. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Uh... I like how the one has a dude brushing his teeth like it's the long lost secret code to sexy. Look, a lot of people forget. A lot of people <clears throat> a lot of people forget that. All right. We got to see what happened. This is an average looking guy that tried looks maxing supposedly. What so, we're going to watch this and see what goes down. <laughs> Like guys forget their ass needs to be washed? Yes. Yeah, that's one that's one thing. Wait, it does? Wait, what? Alright. Let's see what we learn here. Cause I'm ready. Like I I'm ready. I got my Amazon cart. We're gonna we're gonna become fucking the worldwide wasteland of alpha chads who have Jaw lines you could cut glass with. And I'll have a beautiful hairline for when I do my hairline reveal. Turkey maxing. All right, let's see. I just want to see what he has to say. What you're looking at right now is the ugliest I have ever been. <laughs> so far... So far, very good. So far. So far, very good. What kind, What type of content does Dylan McKnight make? 
I tried to cold approach girls as an introvert. How I became hot. Oh, so he's still doing skinny to muscular, chicken legs to squatting, 405 pounds. Okay. He's shredded. He did this in 30 days. That's crazy. All right. Went through some depression recently that really caused a lack of self-care in my life. But I'm done. What's funny is that the the body that he has here where he's like, I'm the ugliest, most awful looking I've ever been. He does not look bad here. Like he has like muscles. He looks fine. Uh, but I'm done feeling sorry for myself. For the next 30 days, I will be strictly following the male model protocol. Oh, he got the little rock. 30 days, I will be showing my results. I do He's got the magic rock. I need one of those. See, I don't have one of those magic rocks. Ian, there's a looks maxing site. I'm not surprised. I bet there's a whole fucking community. Do not even feel like the same human being anymore. I view myself as a very average looking guy. And I'm not doing that thing where Don't be so hard on yourself, mate. Hoping to get some validation from you I'm going to validate you. Oh, Sorry. Don't worry, you really are good looking. Don't worry, <laughs> you're good looking. My experience thus far Fish away. has been that I'm an average looking dude. And as of currently, I wouldn't even call myself average. I'm breaking out bad, mainly from poor diet choices. And as a reflection of a poor diet, my face is always super bloated. Buzzing off my hair recently has exposed my receding hairline. And uh oh. Buzzing off the hair, that's, a, that's what Aiden Ross was told to do by uh, Tate. Tate told the same to Neon as well. Do you guys know Neon? It's all downhill from there. Uh, and my facial hair is. All right, get to the tips. How do I become a fucking alpha Chad, dude? On, which has come with a multitude T of tell problems. Tell me, tell me. The most obvious being an extremely pale complexion. I have to get as attractive as I possibly can in the next thirty days, which means I'm gonna need as much help as I can possibly get. So. I bet Mr. Beast has watched this video. I don't know why. I just feel like he has. I just sense it. I had to get as sexy as possible in 30 days. You can turn the video up a tad bit. Yeah, we don't want to miss a word. Oh, I did the only thing I could think of and I reached out to my friend Shami, who just so happens to be famous on TikTok for looks improvement. Shami was a G, he got back to me super quick. Bro, let me hook you, hook you up with a free access to my facial gains ebook. Oh man. Facial gains. Can you look smacks your way out of not looking British? Is he going to tell me how to do that? <clears throat> I facial gained my way out of, out of the UK. All right. Teach me. Teach me, King. And he actually hooked me up with free access to his facial gains ebook. You guys, I'm looking through this uh, yep. ebook that Shami just sent me, and this has got to feel like this has got to feel like that scene in Kung Fu Panda. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> Fill in the the blank. What could Shami have possibly said? What scene from Kung Fu Panda relates to receiving a facial gains looks maxing ebook? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say the scene where Master Shifu teaches Po how to do the special technique. I'm guessing. Kung Fu Panda is actually an alpha fan fave. Well, yeah, it's about the panda. Uh, he improves. Uh, you know, he starts, he starts out as sort of like a chubby beta. And then he becomes an alpha Chad. 
All right, let's see. Nah, it's got to be the one where he's tricking him into exercising by teasing him with a cookie. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Got to be when he opens the dragon scroll. A lot of good guesses here. This has got to feel like this has got to feel like that scene in Kung Fu Panda, you know, where Tai Long he saw the dragon scroll for the first time. Oh, the power of the dragon scroll is cool. AJ in chat nailed it. Got to be when he opens the dragon scroll. A true alpha. Alpha Chad Cool AJ. Damn. <laughs> and yes, he did say Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I was wrong. That's why I'm not ready for this. Fine. I'm kind of in a unique position because uh -huh. I unfortunately only have 30 days. So yeah. I'm just going to really extract the main meat and potatoes from this and focus on just a couple things that I think will probably make the biggest difference. Let's get down to the brass tacks here. I list of things I would need and then proceeded to pay Jeff Bezos a pro Bezos. This is going to be me. Pay Jeff Bezos. Approximately $150. That's not bad to just completely reconstruct your face, supposedly, allegedly. Ordered everything on a Friday, so unfortunately I had to wait a little longer for shipping. While I waited for my... I love the acting here. Okay. This is the ugliest he's ever been, he says, by the way. Uh, dragging these scrolls across your face. Says striking matches in chat. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. Jeff Bezos. Wow. I can afford $160 here to just chad chad the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I would I wish he would have just kept going. This is like that scene in Kung Fu Panda uh where Poe sort of realizes that he's not cut out to be a warrior. And then, you know, his dad is a duck and he just keeps eating and he's not really ready. But then eventually circumstances change where he decides that, you know, he does want to be a warrior and he goes and he, you know, he goes and trains with Master Shifu and the, there's the turtle and, you know, then the, um, the turtle says that there's no time like the present and he should have just kept going. His dad is a crane? No way. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. Wait, what did I say? I thought I said his dad is a bird. That counts. You said a duck. Oh, that's a duck. That's that counts. That freaking counts, dude. I'm an adult. I love that they they a pop up comes up and goes. You either click I'm an adult or I'm a kid. It's almost like they're rubbing it in my face that I'm on the Kung Fu Panda dot fandom dot com website. They're like, hey, just want you to confirm you are an adult human being on the Mr. Ping Kung Fu Panda wiki page. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Mr. Ping. It says he's a Chinese goose, according to the species chart. So he's a goose. Someone said a crane. I said a duck. I think a duck is closer to a goose. Personally. Oh, we got a duck. If y'all want to split hairs here. So uh, freaking checkmate, dude. All right. What do I need, dude? stuff to come i started tanning i cleaned up my diet and i lowered my calories to start losing body fat uh-huh all right well he's done that's it he's done i've lost nearly 10 pounds in just over a week which is honestly pretty concerning uh i love that this dude who's just like 
He's yoked. His six pack is showing. He's like, I'm an average looking guy and I'm uglier than I've ever been in my life. Uh, <laughs> All right, just well, tell me what to buy. That fast. Most of blah, 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 blah. This challenge and I haven't even got to use the stuff that I ordered. Okay, so everything is here right now. I'm pretty eager to just open everything up and actually start looking. Ian, your eyes are popping out of your head, brother. Maybe I can look smacks that out away where I put my eyeballs back in my head. All right, what's in the bag, dude? I want to do kind of like a progress update. Even though the only thing I've done so far is lose weight and tan, <clears throat> the difference is already drastic. My face appears a lot less bloated. Wow. This is after, what did he say, 10 days? Okay. Here. But now that we have everything here what for the remaining buy? two and a half weeks the of magic this challenge, rock. here's exactly what I'm going to do. As soon as Oof. I get out of bed, I immediately start my day by taking my supplements. I'm definitely going to be taking... Alpha brain. Um, Sigma brain. Beta brain. Taking a multivitamin. I guess you could just call that your generic all-encompassing health vitamin. So this is where things get a little more interesting. This is beta carotene. I'm, I'm not taking that, bro. It says fucking beta in the name. Are you serious? What the fuck? This is not a good guide. You think I'm putting that anywhere near me? Hell no, dude. Beta carotene. Beta cringetine, no thanks, bud. Yeah, exactly. No thanks. I'm gonna be taking this uh, for the purpose of just giving my skin a little more natural color. Just kind of think of it as a tan. You can find a lot of this stuff inside carrots, hence the name carotene. Um, you ever heard of- What about the name beta? Beta alert, dudes out here swallowing beta, nope. Yeah, hell no. Little kid, people saying, if you eat a ton of carrots, your skin's gonna turn orange. It's true to a degree. And let's not... The, I've seen the science. It's true. Uh, okay. So... Forget for Nasteri. Oh, he got the juice. This is the juice right here. This shit will juice up your hairline. Finasteride, it's a full-blown pharmaceutical drug, so it's a little bit difficult to get your hands on this. However, How do you get that DHT from Bezos? DHT is the hormone responsible for hair loss, so... Basically, this is just going to keep the hair on my head and possibly grow it back. After you know what it does? Uh, finasteride. I'm pretty sure it blocks. Testosterone. Doesn't it? Yeah, it, oh wait, it increases testosterone? Oh, it makes your balls shrink? It decreases prostate size. Damn, so he's, he's getting a tiny little prostate and he's taking a beta pill. Freaking, oh boy that i make sure to get 15 to 20 minutes of direct sunlight a day okay I get direct exposure from the sun every yep. day how long i can just tell kind of depends on what the uv rays are sometimes yeah it is kind of difficult just because there tends to be lots of cloud cover where i live uh but i try my best all right there's so many shots here he's taking shots like the freaking um the guy that fucks the donut He's giving me donut fucking energy right now. 
contain hair regrowth properties. I also make shower where I use a shampoo and conditioner that contain hair regrowth properties. I also make sure to use only cold water on my head. This improves blood circulation in the scalp. After my the miscification of this man. I can't get over it. Also make sure to do a last minute check for my face and lips to keep my skin Wait, what is that? Sorry, I cut, I cut After forward. my shower, I apply a moisturizer to my face and lips to keep my skin hydrated throughout the day. I also make Jeez, do we need the full juicy lip? He's Bateman maxing. He is. No, he totally is. Do we need the full juicy lip cam? Sure to do a last minute check for any areas of the face that may need attention. During the day, whenever I get the chance, I exercise my jaw with this product I bought off Amazon. Okay, so aside from losing body fat, obviously, that he's got his gorilla mode protein powder stacked up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Now this is the real thing. The this little this little um uh, what is it like a Kegel for your mouth? That is definitely hands down the best way I feel like you can accentuate your jawline. Look around. I mean, it's not a secret. Most of our food nowadays is super processed. It's all very malleable, super chewy. He's spitting. And most guys are I am a TMG specialist and those jaw things are horrible for you. What's T T TMJ? I mean. Temporal mandibular. <laughs> Let me try that again. Temporal mandibular. Temporal mandibular. Mandibular. Temporal. Temporal mandibular. <laughs> Temporal mandibular. Temp Temporal. Tempura mandible. Tempura. Temporal mandibular. <laughs> Why does that sound so wrong? Tempo mandibular. <laughs> Temp. Temp. Tempura mandible. <laughs> this guy has said wait this guy has to be ai right because this motherfucker has said every word i have ever struggled to say julian this man has said every word how many videos does he have Forty-four thousand videos is this a real human being Now he's just flexing. Why would I want to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards? <laughs> what? Now he's just flexing. All right. So here is a very interesting pronunciation exercise for today that we're going to look at. How do you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards if you've watched the movie? This is a real person? <laughs> he just loves the sound of his own voice at We're this point. We're going to be looking at how to pronounce this and different ways of pronouncing it. If you've watched the movie, you probably remember that she says, you can say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards, but that would be pushing it. Oh, but so it's referencing something in the movie. Uh, that's going a little bit too far, don't you think? Uh, that's exactly what you say. Uh, you can say it backwards. Now, how do you say this word backwards? There are different ways, different interpretations that people have uh -huh. about how to say it backwards. So there's this one, there's this one. I'm glad that there's all these different... Pr I'm glad that there's people out there doing this, doing the scholarly research into this. You have multiple schools of thought. I think that's very important. 
that we have our best and brightest trying to figure this out. And that one. So let's have a look. First, if you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards, you could say you, can, you have to take every letter of the word and spell it backwards, which is what I've done here. Uh -huh. So you spell so far, it backwards so good. letter by letter. And that gives you this word here, which you have to pronounce that as suoikodilaip xisit siligar philocrepus. So some people say this is how you say supercalificious uh, fragilis. He can't even say it. Look, he said it wrong. Listen. So some people say this is how you say supercalificious. Uh, supercalifragilis? This man can't even say the fucking word. Drop this poor man a like, goddamn. Okay, sure. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't even say this backwards. Some witchcraft. But this man has taught me how to say every word. This is crazy. Notoriously, if you guys are familiar with this stream, this man taught me how to say Van Gach, Van Hach, in the most pretentious way possible this is the guy we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this dutch post impressionist painter well he gave the the most pretentious way to ever say this you want to bust it out at a party but like a ha ha same sound at the beginning and at the end Ho, Vincent van Ho is how the Dutch say it, like it or not. Like it or not, he says, he says, fuck your feelings. Like it or not. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I am a bit of an art enthusiast. Um, who do I like? Ah, oh, well, I'm a fan of Vincent van Ho. <laughs> Vincent van Gogh, 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 like it or not. Thank you, sir. Start a rival channel where you mispronounce everything. All right, so let's hear it. Joe Joe Radio just resubscribed for eight months. Look how this dude. Ha, ha. Thank you, Jojo Radio, for the resubscribe. Now, let's see. Let's see how he says uh, how he fires off this. Now, my prediction is temporal mandibular. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Looking at how to pronounce these words uh -huh. as well as how to say more interesting and often confusing names, some of the most mispronounced ones in English, including from anatomy. So make sure to stay tuned for those. How do you say it? Temporo, mandibular. Temporo, mandibular. Temporo, mandibular. Ler. Temporo, mandibular. Temporo, mandibular. Pretty straightforward once you know. Okay, Tem don't say it's straightforward. It's very fucking hard. Temporo, mandibular. And now you know. More videos here on how to pronounce pretty straightforward ones, you know. Temporomandibular. Temporomandibular. Yeah, I knew it. I had it right all along. So the temporomandibular joints are the two joints that connect your lower jaw to your skull. More specifically, they are the joints that slide and rotate in front of each ear and consist of the mandible and the temporal bone. So somebody was saying that this little... Uh, Look at his face. He's so pumped. Uh, his little toy that he bought was really so bad for that joint. Around with non-existent master muscles. I eat four to five very clean. Bro, you don't even have a masseter muscle? <laughs> oh, my God. This man's taking beta carotene, and he doesn't even have a masseter muscle meals throughout the day that are not only healthy but i enjoy a good diet is one that meets nutritional requirements but isn't painstakingly hard to abide by i'll then typically take another shower or i'll just wait he didn't talk about it 
What's his little what's his little chew toy? What is it? What does it do? Uh looks maxing chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> they a bunch of fucking dog toys shop. I'm just going to gnaw on one of these. I think I should just gnaw on this thing. Jaws are size? What? Is that really what it's called? Jaws are size? This little pocket pussy? Holy shit, this has 10,000 reviews. <laughs> you ball gag yourself? That's so alpha. <laughs> Me when I'm watching Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Sam, don't worry. I'm watching Kung Fu Panda with my ball gag. Don't worry. I'm actually becoming an alpha Chad for you. Sam, don't worry about it. I'm chatting out right now. Stupid just gifted one subs. Thank you, Z Dubs, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> this thing looks crazy. Improve facial symmetry, strengthen jaw muscles, reduce double chin, increase facial muscle tone, and boost confidence. So you're telling me that this ball gag is going to just... Now, does, does my face get smaller or do, or will I get more like, do I get wider if I chew on my ball gag once a day? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to come on stream in 30 days after sucking on my ball gag. I'm going to look like such a fucking alpha Chad. But here's, people are saying that it fucks up your, your, uh, like your jaw muscles. I'm not surprised. Nothing happens. You just get TMJ. <laughs> King Kong Shuanong just resubscribed for eight months. Thank you. King Kong Schlong for the resubscribe. That always gets me. It's not good for you. Let's see what the reviews have to say. I want to dig into the reviews of this. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. This. Oh, wait. Let me watch the video. <laughs> Get a chisel jawline. <laughs> Take our word for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I feel like there are people who's in chat right now who say that they study this shit like professionally. But I'll take these guys' word for it. Go on. <laughs> Wait. Bro, this guy looks... This is the same photo. This is the same picture. I think the camera just got a little closer to his face. I see people with this in LA. You've actually seen people walking around with this? Seriously? Ian, can you listen to my version of Grimace Shake and Show Sam? It's on YouTube. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Sam's been collecting them all. So if you have any, you should um, message, send her the link because she's been collecting them all. His chin is much more cleft. <laughs> Me at the fucking library. <laughs> Me at the library reading books on how to be a fucking alpha. Alpha. 
I'm going to bring this when I go see the Hunger Games. Just sitting there next to somebody, just like sucking on my little ball gag. See, most of these photos just look the same. Just the lighting is different. I love that they have like a... Look at they got like a, a whole collection. They got a palette. This is like a makeup palette for bros. Uh, <laughs> all these photos look the same. All right, so this is the official one. Let's go into the reviews. Uh, and let's go one star. Fart Zero Supreme just subscribed. Fart Box Supreme. Thank you for the subscribe. Uh, all right. John says, not worth the money. <clears throat> this is just not what I was expecting. I will be returning this product. It feels like my teeth are going to split this thing apart. Oh, I went and bought, <laughs> I went out and bought a $3 dog chew toy last night and it worked more of my muscles. So John is out actually chewing on a dog toy. <laughs> I hope it's working out for John. Uh, this product is so overpriced. I think they're charging extra because they are mentioned on Joe Rogan. Ah, so Rogan's in on this. What is this? Is this open? This is like the the. Uh, alpha like used retainer. Uh, wait. Uh, I gave this a good inspection upon receipt. Sure enough, visible teeth marks. Wait, they, someone had art. Some alpha already chewed on it. Or someone's dog or something. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean that somebody returned it? He probably got John's. John sent it back. They threw it back in the packaging and sent it to Nigel Jr. <laughs> Damn. Wow. They don't want to waste the good product, you know? Those ball gags aren't cheap. Already been chewed. <laughs> That's crazy. It dented and ripped. I want to see a review where someone's like, it, f it fucked up my jaw muscle. Because it seems like that's probable. Hard. Hard texture. Appearance is good and fit comfortably in my mouth. I'm glad the hard texture fit comfortably in your mouth, but uh, upon trying the item, my jaw immediately hurted, <laughs> and I could taste plastic and rubber particles. <laughs> someone is this. Someone is just smacking on their ball gag, being like. My jaw hurted and I taste microplastics, but I, hopefully I can become an alpha. Broken a wig, broken, falling apart, ripped. Did not come with the necklace. Damn. So it seems like, uh, but no, no mention of TMJ, which is... Uh, uh, but you have to think that that's buried in there somewhere. 
Okay, what else is he doing? Just wash my face and then wash your face. Boom, done. End of video. After that, I'll begin my nightly routine. Derma rolling is the process of poking tiny holes in the scalp in an effort to re stimulate inactive hair follicles. After derma rolling, I apply numerous essential oils. <laughs> so, the derma rolling thing, I saw. Okay. Wait, I gotta find this. What? <laughs> uh. I saw like a clip. I can't, I'm I'm struggling to find it, or a picture of a guy who like over derma rolled, because <laughs> I looked it up. And his whole fucking dome was just like rubbed raw. Just like, it looked like an uncooked Thanksgiving turkey. ...to my head. When your head smells like a Chinese massage parlor, that's when you know you did it right. I Fuck just put yeah. like four different oils on, and uh, <laughs> when I was putting the peppermint one on, <laughs> that one felt like the little tiny fire ants were biting my scalp. Beauty is pain, I guess. This is... Beauty is pain. All right. So once you just stamp your head with a bunch of little needles and apply four oils and you stink and it burns, you're halfway there. Just don't forget the ball gag. <clears throat> this is that purple toothpaste I'm sure you've seen all over TikTok. If you haven't seen it, you are definitely living under a rock. This is my first time trying it, so we're going to see if it does anything. They say that you got to use it for at least a week to see results. However, the exception is that my teeth are completely natty. They've, <laughs> I've Fucking sick, brother. He's got those natty chompers, bro. Natty chompers. He's about to juice, though, with this magic purple liquid. Do you know where they harvested this thing? This shit right here is what he's about to brush his teeth with. This, this is a miracle drug. So... Good luck. Never used a whitener, nothing. So. <clears throat> is natty good or bad? Natty means you're all natural. Big juicer. Oh, well, you're not a juicer. <clears throat> but natty has a uh, clout. So we're going to see if it does something. We're going to take my teeth's virginity. Because purple is the complementary like color that. of yellow, mm -hmm. this toothpaste works in a way to conceal the yellow staining of the teeth. Wait, I didn't even notice the shift. Wait, let me go frame by frame. After. After. Frame by frame. Frame by frame. After. Before. Okay. Before. Before. <laughs> Wait. Before. After. That Ivan Ooze worked miracles. Wow. What are those bumps on his teeth? Uh, very interesting. What, right here? That's just, even his teeth have gains, guys. They're Invisalign? Ah. I thought even his teeth had little muscles. And that's true kind of alpha funny. shit. I feel like doing this it's just forced me to be a lot more critical about my appearance. Like specifically Shout my out. like just yesterday, okay? I woke up. I Call this dude moist. He's being way too critical, brother. 
He is being way too critical, brother. In the mirror, and I just immediately realized how bad my eyes looked. Just <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's lost in the sauce at this point. He's lost in the sauce. He puts a couple oils in his head and chews on his little chew toy. And so he's like, even my my eyes look bad. <laughs> That's not good, man. That doesn't seem healthy. Dark circles, you know, the eye bags. They're just something I've always had naturally. And yeah, you're not going to be able to see in this lighting, but they're there, trust me. And it's just like... Okay, ever since I started paying attention to my looks, now all of a sudden any imperfection I have, like, has to be changed. So, I ended up buying this tool off Amazon that supposedly helps with the under eyes. Um, and once again, where credit is due. I did get it from Xiaomi's Facial Gains ebook. I'm gonna Shout out to Xiaomi, the Kung Fu Panda. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. He want microplastic poisoning. He wants to look like a Ken doll. Put tea bags on your eyes, bro. It works. I'm gonna be plugging his ebook below in the description. If you sounds want to like body yourself, dysmorphia. Um, this video is not sponsored by them. It's just without that thing. He's dysmorphia maxing. Help me a little. Bit. Develop into this obsession, because I think it really could be like a toxic relationship you develop with yourself but yes wow okay a little insightful today so we're gonna see if it works <laughs> got that dog in him unfortunately this is what my eyes typically look like in the morning i trustingly applied the serum from this device onto my face it could have been horse jizz for all i knew actually insane results insane results guys it could have been freaking horse jizz why did he throw that in there what do we think was this one striking matches says that isn't bad to be honest Mewing plus tea bags equals Chad. You sort of tea bag yourself with the mewing thing. <clears throat> Ice Cube will do the same thing. Horse nut is good for the eyes. One pick just has better lighting. Now this, this is a lighter photo. Uh, I think he just woke up. Today is the final day. Um, I definitely feel a lot of pressure just to show you guys that, yeah, I did make this incredible drastic transformation before I take the final. He kind of has this like TikTok version of uh... he's trying to look like David Putty from Seinfeld. That's who he's trying to look smacks into. Uh, but this guy was all natty, dude. Patrick Warburton was natty. Freaking Chad. And he's not there. He's not there. Putty's got the alpha voice too? Yeah, he does. Yeah, Patrick doesn't have to do all this shit to look like a total alpha stud. The final pictures i'm gonna ice my face and then i'm also gonna use this guasha what this will do is it's just gonna de-bloat my face just kind of tighten everything up. i need the magic rock that's the key guasha i need a nice rock which one do i get this one has a lot of reviews will this make me turn into an alpha That thing feels nice. Pure Jade? A uh, no shot. No way. That shit's fake Jade for sure. I want the real shit though. I need the real one. Gotta get the Jade Roller. What? I need the two pack?
Huh. This has 26,000 reviews. I need this one. Filter highest to lowest price. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Two pack. I need a two pack. Hold on. How do I filter highest to lowest? I don't know how to uh, uh, sort by high to low. This is handmade $500. <clears throat> this was crafted on Mount Olympus. Yo, these are crazy. And then I could get the cupping breast massager. What? How did that end up in there? Maybe is that what? Has he been using one of these? Based on your recent searches? Maybe he used one of those. <laughs> Uh, this is like a whole dentistry toolkit. Get a jade egg. Will that help me? Which one should I get? This one? This one looks nice. But I want the roller too, don't I? What do I do with the roller? You roll it? Oh, shit. No way. No freaking way. Look at all these. Cryotherapy ice roller? See, he ain't about that. It's a gimmick? Wait, all right. All right, all right. Here. I'm going to do... Let's, let's, let's add to cart. <clears throat> All right, we got one. Are we alpha yet? The rollers are a scam. Should I drop the roller? I noticed that the alpha Chad doesn't use one. Today is the final day. Um, I definitely feel a lot of pressure uh -huh. just to show you guys that, yeah, I did make this incredible drastic transformation. Before I take the final pictures, I'm going to ice my face and then yeah. I'm also going to use this gua sha. What this will do is it's just going to de-bloat my face. It's the, just kinda the ice is cheating. That's like juicing in, in professional sports. Tighten everything up before I take these pictures. We got the fucking music. Let's go. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt Dude, he just, he just miskiff maxed I'm sorry After all of this, he just miskiff maxed Uh, he looks the exact same <laughs> Handsome Squidward. And a jacket. I just want to get her on the loan on a mattress. I just want to. <laughs> All right, hold on. So. His his acne got taken care of. He said he changed his diet up. Can someone tell Ian to dive into new face and slingshock? 
this, we are going too deep in the iceberg. Literally just lost buckle fat. He said he tanned. It's got, well, he, if he's been dieting. Haircut too is changing. If he had this hair here, I think that changes it. I just want to have it. I just got to have it. Boomers all around say your body is fantastic. All <laughs> not a piece of purpose. He's doing like a meme face here. <laughs> like he's doing the fucking all around say your body is fantastic. <laughs> he's doing the the old meme face. Striking matches, why is he kinda dot dot dot? You got got by handsome Squidward. The troll face, yes, he's troll facing. <laughs> More pronounced, my skin cleared up a lot. One of the biggest difference I think I noticed was my hair. My hair just feels so much healthier, thicker. Like it I doubt his hair like changed that much in 30 days with the stuff he was doing <clears throat> he seems more confident at least yeah well so oh and then he's got the ebook use code dylan for gorilla mind <laughs> okay Just be completely honest, the before and after footage was taken one and a half months apart, not 30 days? What a fucking liar, dude. What a Weasley little liar, dude. Just goes to show we aren't ugly. Our self-care is a mess. That's why we're a mess. We aren't ugly. I don't agree with a lot of your fitness advice, but you're one of the most real people on this platform. Thank you, Dylan. Wow. Well, there you go. Powerful stuff. I love the thumbnail because... He did not look like that on the right. <laughs> that is not what we saw. Who is that man? So what do I add to my cart? <laughs> These videos are so funny. How to look max. Brush your teeth. Looks maxing is any attempt to improve your appearance. Anything from a simple shower. Wait, showering is look smaxing? Let's go, dude. I look smaxed this morning. Fuck yeah. I'm already on my way. I hope most of chat, y'all have been look smaxing today too. Damn, isn't it crazy that there are probably a lot of people who watch this and are like, ah. Maybe they're right. I probably should shower. Like the people that find themselves seriously consuming this content probably are people that have to be reminded to do that. Like brush my teeth twice a day. Really? I guess. I mean, I guess I can try it. And the only people that watch that shit are all mind blown. And our mind blown our incels? I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that he's reminding people that, hey, showers are pretty cool. Ian, don't do a makeover, I beg you. <laughs> I wouldn't actually do this seriously. I just think it's so funny that all these videos show these before and afters and they're like, look at how chat I am now. And they do that in the thumbnail. When I'm like, I would imagine if I did this shit for 30 days, I would look 
exactly the same. Probably worse, honestly. I would imagine my skin would somehow get irritated by putting like five different oils on my head and then roll it and then doing fucking derma stamping and then like <laughs> all the other shit. I think I would go opposite. I would looks minimize. <laughs> I think it would go downward. I think it would be funny to figure it out. Like to funny to do it as an experiment to show that this shit is a waste of time. I feel like you could boil this down to like a couple basic things. Like, yeah, fucking take a shower. Sure. Take care of your teeth and wash your face. Moisturizer. Moisturizer is is probably a good thing to involve in your routine um and maybe uh <clears throat> maybe um if you want to go like a little extra maybe like some retinol or something moisturizer is too far and where use sunscreen yes yeah like that you can kind of boil it down to that and then as they said drink fucking water and and eat decent food you'll probably be fine but i think it would be funny if i did it and suddenly i get on get on uh, and i'm just like hey what's up guys what's going on guys What's up? Okay, I want to hear what else he has to say real quick. All the way to getting surgeries today. Whoa, <laughs> that's a jump. Taking a shower to surgery? I will show you how to look max every part of your appearance. That's All an escalation. Go from an average 4 out of 10 guy to an 8 out of 10 with no surgeries by the end of this video. 1. Body maxing. Body An 8 out of 10 with no surgeries. However, if you want to hit 9, you're gonna have to go under the knife. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to take the. Uh, the best I can do is an eight. <clears throat> maxing is shaping your body to an ideal physique. This is the most important part of looks maxing, as nothing else will matter if you're overweight. Here's the thing: if you're overweight, you have an advantage. Unlike other. Whoa! Forbidden knowledge. Yo, he's spitting. Okay. Then you can jump from a three to a seven by just losing 50 pounds. Clothes are going to look amazing on you and your face shape will completely change. Look at it. The math is very interesting here. So he's saying, he's saying a three out of 10, but you're overweight. You're actually in an advantage than a three out of 10 who doesn't have any weight because he's viewing the three out of 10 overweight person as like a block of marble that can be sculpted into the way that he thinks is an eight versus the guy he thinks is a three out of 10 that's been sculpted already. The marble has been shed. He's like, that guy's fucked. That guy's at a disadvantage. This is very interesting math. This is this is very interesting math here. Wow, okay. Lilt Exhaust Zero asked just resubscribed for eleven months. Do you want anything from Wendy's? Little Texas Toast. I'm freaking look smaxing right now. I can't be going to Wendy's, dude. I'm becoming a fucking alpha Chad. Also, I had to Amazon a, a chewable ball gag to work on my muscles in my face. I'm just going to chew on my I'm just going to chew on my dog toy tonight. I'm sorry, no Wendy's. Seriously, a chicken sandwich would probably be pretty good, actually.
Put it this way, you would join the top 40% of the population by just not being obese. According to the Center of Disease Control, the bottom 60% of the population is overweight. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed, I promise. <laughs> I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I just want you to feel overweight. <laughs> so then I could tell you what to do. Sam, Sam wrote in chat, I'm about to be baked potato maxing. You can be fit by just following these three basic principles. First, get nine hours of sleep. When nine? Sleep enough did. <clears throat> did, did, did. Nine hours? Do you realize I'm on Attack on Titan Season 3? You expect me to go to bed? When am I supposed to watch it? This dude's never even seen it. When am I supposed to watch the show if I'm meant to be getting nine hours? I'm Titan maxing. Enough. Your stress hormone cortisol is activated. This tells your body to conserve more energy to stay awake. In other words, your body will oh, he's hang on to more fat because it's going to think you are in survival mode. Second, drink one gallon of water a day. The Institute of Medicine recommends any man over the age of 14 to drink three. <clears throat> drink water is uh, is that's the best sure minutes before breakfast lunch and dinner did he make these graphics himself it's very nice these little minion marshmallows here peeps men only only water for men <laughs> did you get r2 fixed up okay i have to clear something up because <clears throat> I went on a rant during my last stream about how I would never own Star Wars or Marvel paraphernalia. I, I said that full full-throated declaration and then there was an incident recently at my job where I knocked over a Lego R2-D2 and I got exposed for building a Lego R2-D2 now I would like to make something very clear you will never see that R2-D2 in my, in my house on display. You can ask anybody that was given to me, that R2-D2 was given to me by somebody. They gave it to me. I built the R2-D2 as because the act of building Legos is still very calming to me. So I built the R2-D2. Now I've been trying to get rid of it. I have asked Lego Lou. I've asked Lightsaber AB. I've asked... Um, World of Warcraft love. I don't know why I threw in World of Warcraft just because it's like a, it's adjacent. People play World of Warcraft might like Star Wars or something. I don't know. That was the association I did in my head. Nobody wants it. I'm trying to get rid of this R2-D2. Nobody will take the fucking R2-D2. So I'm just... Making it clear. So, should I do a giveaway? One of you guys want it? 
I don't want the R2-D2. Lego Lou already has it. Your broken R2-D2? I fixed it. I fixed it right away. Broken Lego stressed me out. It's like clutter in my in the attic of my brain. I just like Star Wars, but someone will want it. Yes. Somebody can take it. I will do it. I'll do a giveaway on like another stream. My next Lego stream, I'll do a giveaway. Okay. But I'm just clearing my name. The, that is not my R2-D2, okay? It's not my R2-D2. I built it for the experience. Just have to clear my name. For a two week period, body weight on participants dropped 1.44. All right, what else do I do? Five times a week. The Center for Disease. Go to the gym. As more successful tell me healthy. the tell me the forbidden knowledge. You're telling me drink water and go to the gym. This is this is like basic shit. This is like the tip of the iceberg. Surgery. So this is how you both whiten and straighten your teeth at home without dentist visits or thousands of dollars. Let's start with whitening your teeth. I want you to eat more fruits that contain straighten your teeth without going to the dentist. These enzymes were studied and found in teeth whitening gels that have a strong whitening effect with minimal teeth enamel damage. Some examples of fruits are pineapple, which are loaded with proline, or papaya, which have tons papaya. of pain. Next, we're going to straighten your teeth. I'm not going to misinform you. There is no natural or free way to strain your teeth, but it is one area you can invest in that will completely restructure your face. I'm doing the process myself. I started my process with home teeth alignment with a brand called Bite. It has only been three weeks and I'm already starting to see my teeth get straighter. And be that was a cute, that was a cute little smile. Very cute. <clears throat> um, okay. Because they are invisible liners, it's easy to do and wear daily and no one ever notices. I had to bring this to you guys around 15 This is a sponsorship. Like I mentioned, there are no free straightening methods. However, there are free don't want to mouth breathe. Mouth breathers oh, develop shit. long narrow faces and cause their teeth to overcrowd themselves. If you have overcrowded teeth with bite, you can get in Quit trying to sell me on the bite. Persistently, it can even cause your teeth to move. With that special code, so you oh my God! This whole thing is this is just an ad. Motivation, maxing out testosterone is a superpower, and if you do it correctly, you'll never need steroids. You need to start by first seeing where are your levels at right now. You can do this by go getting blood work. <laughs> you can go online and. Google That's serious. Looks maxing, going and getting your testosterone levels like checked. <laughs> and I can't breathe out of. I can't breathe out of my mouth anymore. <clears throat> no fap increases testosterone become a vol cell ultimate alpha behavior there's too much forbidden knowledge flying around home saliva test kits your normal testosterone rate should be anywhere from four yeah yeah, yeah. From seven hours of sleep as most of your talk about the gua sha did Take supplements. We love supplements. Apparently, this will cost you around a hundred dollars a month. To make it simple, I will list the supplements that I. Take Holy to shit! This guy's cooking. The amount I take daily, and cite the studies stating the amount. Wait, of did he hit that all I of them at this? He made it seem like he hit them all at once. Daily, the <laughs> what? <laughs> that's brother. That's dangerous. That's a choking hazard. Was that two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve? That's fifteen supplements. 
the amount I take daily and cite the studies stating the amount of testosterone increase you can expect from each. One is 500 milligrams of fenugreek, shown to boost free tea by up to 46%. Second, 300 milligrams of ginger, shown to boost testosterone by 17% after 12 weeks. Third, 30 milligrams of zinc, with an average increase of 50 oh, Sorry, I was, I was breathing out of my mouth. Sorry. My apologies, guys. I'm so embarrassed. This dude was just ha taking half the fucking pharmacy. Fifty-three percent after six months. Fourth, three hundred milligrams of ashwanda with a range increase between ten to twenty-two percent of testosterone. Five, five thousand IU's of vitamin D increases free testosterone by twenty percent. Six, two hundred fifty milligrams of shila heat increases testosterone by twenty point forty-five percent. Seven, one thousand milligrams of magnesium increases testosterone in active people by twenty-five percent. Eight, dude, the, tes the his testosterone is going to explode. He's going to freaking, um, his balls are going to explode, dude. It's like a, if I took all this shit, No, uh, is he aware that your organs will just filter out all those extra vitamins because they don't need them though, so they're basically useless? According to math, his testosterone is over 100%. Dude, it's over 9,000. It's like that Donald Duck meme where he's like, he's like ascending and his like dick is exploding. Donald took this cocktail. 2,000 milligrams. And 10, 500 milligrams of terkesterone. Now, if that doesn't work, you move on to number three, TRT, which can cost around 3,000 a month. This is testosterone <laughs> replacement therapy. When you do this... Dude, TRT? <laughs> He's cooking right now. Skin with no acne. I would say most of you do this wrong. I'll tell you to forget everything you know about skincare as these next three steps are the only ones scientifically proven to help skin mask. First one, only use two facial products. Oh. Skincare companies are about to hate me, but there are really only two. Skincare companies hate him with two simple tricks. With two simple tricks. Skincare facial products that have hundreds of studies that prove their effectiveness. A face wash to remove dirt and any pores from being clogged up, and a sunscreen to help protect the skin Boom. from sun damage. The second thing you want to do is change your bed sheets. Your bed sheets contain dirt, sweat. Make your bed. Make your bed. That's what Peterson was always talking about. One second, guys. Look at I paused the video to send a text. I could have just let it play and zoned out. Sunscreen? Make your bed. Sunscreen. Wash your face. Sure, this all seems and good. Dead skin cells, which is the perfect food for bacteria. In a Mary Sleep study, he pees found the that bed. Just after one week, pillowcases had at least. 3 million colony forming units of bacteria per square inch. Then, the four most common strains of bacteria found within that colony are known to cause skin irritation, rashes, ringworm, and acne. You have to wash your sheets every three days. Especially Finally, if you're dookieing in vitamin them. Vitamin C. Wrinkles and skin color contrast makes your skin look old and unattractive. Vitamin C has been proven to regulate your melanin production. This is what's responsible for giving your skin tone color. So if you want perfectly colored skin, vitamin C regulates the melanin so it looks evenly balanced. Five, hair maxing. A man's hair maxing style can completely change your facial structure. 
So I'm going to show you how to hair max with these next three steps. Hair first, max. I love the terms. Every other day. If your hair looks greasy, it'll be hard to manage. Shampooing every other day cuts out all the sweat, dirt, and oil without over drying your scalp. Second, you're going to use a leave-in condition. I always apply this at night right before going to bed. This gives the uh -huh. hair time to absorb the hydration. The next day, you'll wake up with soft hair that's easy to style. A trick you can do is use regular condition. <laughs> I'm just going to start adding maxing to everything I do. Like, I'm drink, I'm drink maxing, I'm stream maxing right now. Um, I, you know, I'm watching a video, I'm watch maxing. Um, after this, I'll probably be shit maxing. Um, Mouth breathe, ma yeah, mouth breathe, Max. Just resubscribed for eleven months. Yak Yuckener, thank you for the resubscribe. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, we're maxing everything right now. You guys are chat maxing. Right after your shower, if you don't want to buy leave-in conditioner, and finally start oh, minoxidil. Oh, my Elisha oh, just resubscribed for eleven months. Ruben is for max. <laughs> Ruben is fur maxing and he actually has been looking very chad lately uh, uh anyways you guys get the idea um you guys get the idea sam said ian why don't we dinner max and Sam also just texted me and said, do you want to go get food? I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside. Sam's outside Subaru maxing right now. Well, so far, um, so far, out of all of this, all this waffling going on, these guys could open a freaking uh, IHOP with the amount of fucking waffling that has been happening. The only thing I added to my shopping cart was a gua sha. And I'm actually not feeling it anymore. So that's it. I don't know. I didn't get the ebook. I didn't get the damn ebook. What about the chew toy? People said it was going to fuck up my jaw. So maybe the makeover will have to wait. Maybe the makeover is realizing that The things we make don't have to be over. The way we present ourselves. We should just love us for us. Appreciate us for us. But I will be going to get extreme surgery. Anyways, guys. Please don't look into the camera. Check, please. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's much appreciated. And I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watch maxing. Now go have a good night maxing time. Goodbye. Sam also just texted me and said, I'm coochie maxing on my period. So yeah. <laughs>